Hello again, this is uh, chapter four, um, looking into grouping ob objects and class libraries, little introduction to um, both of those. Um, so in Java, we've shown you so far how to create objects, um, and also when you've created objects, potentially have fields of objects. Now you're going to see very shortly that um, there comes a time when you need to group objects um, into collections um, in memory um, and keep hold of those uh, for the duration of the program. Um, so you obviously have to store um, certain things in databases when required and, and getting access to those databases and getting access to data from those databases is useful. Um, you also therefore need to create um, collections where it's accessible not only from the database but from memory so it's, uh, so it's quicker. Um, Potentially lots of applications like the ones shown on the screen there and we're going to look at some of those um, including a, a student record system at, um, at some point later in the course. Um, the number of items uh, to be stored uh, can vary, um, so you might have zero items or hundreds of items and you're not, you might not potentially know how many is going to be stored to start with otherwise you could just store them as fields in your particular objects. Um, things can get added, things can get deleted um, and that's the sort of thing which collections deal with. Um, so one example of a um, uh, of an application which might need a collection is a uh, an organizer of music files. Um, now, there's some requirements there, of, or sort of some some potential requirements there of a music organizer um, shown on the screen. Um, so you might need to add uh, add tracks to the organizer. Um, might be a good idea not to have a limit on how many files can get added. Um, and those are the requirements of, which are up on uh, up on the screen there. <laughs> and the first uh, consideration of um, of these uh, type of collections and these applications is going to be the Music Organizer version one. So, at this point, I'd like to have a quick look and investigate the Music Organizer um, and look on uh, page uh, ninety five of the Blue Jay book, uh, exercise four point one and four point two. And if you want to um, do four point three, then feel free to do that as well. Um, there will be a separate video where I do the external view of the music organizer, so you can watch that now if you want. Otherwise, go ahead and do that in, in um, investigation. Um, hopefully, now you've had a, a quick look at what happens uh, to the music organizer. Um, now we're going to have a look um, at the introduction to class libraries. So, if we want to implement um, uh, collections and implement methods of storing objects, then we have to use pre created classes. We could create our own class um, to create a collection, but it would be quite a complicated and lengthy thing to do, and there's absolutely no point when there's already one that's been created. Um, there's actually quite a few different kind of collections which have been created, and they're all stored in the, uh, the Java class library. Um, now, you'll need to get the Java class library open on the screen, um, uh, which is at this URL here. So I'll let you go ahead um, and uh, go and open that URL, and that'll take you um, to the uh, to the class library. What I'll do is up myself, um, so you can see and it'll look something like this. Now, on the left hand side here, we have all of the classes which um, Java has pre-written for us. Um, on the top left here, we've got some packages which will contain all of the uh, classes, and we'll talk about packages later. Um, and in this window here, this, this, this go, uh, the details pane, as it were, um, this is where you're going to find the information on the specific um, classes that you investigate. Um, so uh, back to the presentation. Um, Java again has collections of these useful classes, um, so we don't have to write anything from scratch. Um, the grouping objects um, is a recur recurring requirement um, and the java.util package contains certain classes for doing that. So we go to here and we uh, scroll down and find the java.util. In fact the easiest to do this is just to click on the, uh, on the pane, uh, do a search and do a search for java.util. Uh, and there's the java.util there. Click on the java.util. Um, and then I'll show you the collections which are available. Click on collections, um, and then that shows you uh, that's the interface. We'll talk about interfaces later, um, but that shows you um, the collection interface. Now, the one we're going to look at for this particular one is what's called an array list. Now, array list is in here. Now, if you did just want to go straight to um, array list, uh, so let's go back a couple so we go back to the start. If you just wanted to um, 
go straight uh, to the if you just go to the uh, to the original link um, click on the all classes section do a search uh, and then just click on array list it is alphabetically there so that shows our array list class Now in order to use an array list to store our music files in, um, we're going to need to do something like this. So if we have a look at the code, um, when there's an another separate video which looks at all of the code for this um, music organizer uh, project, but this is the first bit we're going to look at. You'll need to have an import statement which will import the specific package um, and the, uh, the class which you're going to use. So we're, essentially we're um, going to be using the array list um, class. Um, which is part of the java.util package so to use that you have to have an import statement which brings in the package and um, allows the compiler to be able to yeah, use that um, package um, here we have the um, uh, the field which has been created which is going to be an array list um, so here we have our array list. if you tried to compile this without the import statement up here it wouldn't work so what we do is we create what's called a generic class here and I'm going to go into more of the details of those generic classes um, in another video when we look specifically at the collections and there's a video devoted completely to the collections. Um, at this point all you need to know is that the array list is created as a field there um, and then is um, assigned um, in, in that uh, constructor there. So that's the end of this video. Um, uh, we're going to be looking at the external view, internal view and collections in later videos in this chapter. So I'll see you then.